in Nairobi where security experts have been studying the chilling video released by Somalia militant group Al-Shabaab on last year's Mpeketoni attack. Analysts now say that Kenya could pick up vital clues from the video that has raised questions about the manner in which the government handled that attack. KTN's Asha Mulu uh, has that story. In 34 minutes and 13 seconds, the Al-Shabaab revealed their bloody rampage in Mpeketoni last June. The video is not an easy watch, even for a former military man. Wow, this is chilling. This is shocking. But Mbijiwe says that even with its professional touch, the video could have some loopholes that Kenya can tap into. If we take all the attacks, these in Peketoni, the ones that followed immediately, and then all the way to Mandera, there we could establish a pattern and use that pattern to predict, you know, crime trends. With a very good intelligence system, you can be in a position now to zero in on some of these people, because you realize that in that, in fact, even the person who is doing the the, the, the documentary, you realize that he is talking with some uh, accents that can easily be traced and you rule out some other people and you, you zero in on that ascent alone and you can be in a position now to figure out exactly the dimension that terrorism is taking. What security analysts think should worry the government is the Al-Shabaab's intention with this new video. You should also ask yourself why Kiswahili and English because uh, the essence of this uh, 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 movie or film or all that it is, is uh, twofold. One is uh, to recruit uh, to recruit more jihadists. The film's deliberate messaging cannot be missed. One that appears to target the emotions of residents perceived to be victims of land injustices. As it is, the security docket's handling of Mpeketoni is still in question. When KTN's investigative team returned to Mpeketoni after the attack, the sentiment was singular. Anger. If we knew they were coming, what did we do to stop them? Were there leads that we ignored? But even if the government goes ahead to verify the identities of the people in the video, they risk going back on their statement. There was a reason it was timed for now. Because you realize the recording of this video was completely deliberate, very professional. It was part of the planning of the attack. Therefore, even the timing of the release is part of the script. If we had a resilient community, then this video could have worked against them because one of the best counter-terror strategy is always to, to come up with a resilient public, a public that even if they see this video, they will just say, so what? Since the video was posted four days ago, the government has not commented on its release and its authenticity. But according to security experts, as the military mission intensifies in Somalia, Kenyans should expect the group to enhance its presence online. Ashamwilu, KTN.